Jamie McDonald from Gloucester spent the first nine years of his life in and out of hospitals uh, with a rare spinal condition. Combined with a very weak immune system and epilepsy, Jamie's uh, health is uh, very poor. His family feared he might lose his mobility altogether. At nine years of age, and against all odds, his symptoms ease, allowing Jamie to slowly become more active. Now, let's fast forward to uh, a couple of years ago. Jamie ran across Canada raising money for children's charities. Uh, he's on his book tour about that voyage, and he joins me now. Congratulations, sir. You're very, 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 very impressive. Do you know what was the, you know, what? the, the, -da, like it, it happened just like that. You just, yeah. just, you just run, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I, there's so much to talk about, I don't know what to do. Okay, so let's, let's talk about the book first, okay? Um, uh, so you finished the run. Ta da! Uh, you raised how much money for children's charities? Uh, it ended up being half a million dollars in the end for kids' hospitals and sick kids' children's hospital in Toronto. Right. And so, you, and so you were you were donating the money to each of the provinces as well, the most um, the most uh, important children's hospital in, in that, that province. Yeah, as yeah. I ran through, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right. But sick kids was amazing actually, yeah. and I ended up running down to Toronto an extra fifteen marathons just to get down there because otherwise you can just cut through really quickly to go across but yeah the 15 marathon detour so yeah but it was it was amazing toronto ended up donating the twenty thousand dollars in those two weeks of running so yeah it was amazing okay um i can see where given given your child your junior your upbringing and what happened to you health wise uh, but that doesn't mean that you because you were like that when you were a kid what happened to you that you would do this now like there was this epiphany this moment that you went i have to do this it's come to me like where did this idea come from Doing this stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I spent most of my life in hospital as a yeah. kid, and and so sometimes I couldn't move my legs, and so really in my later years I just had this idea to maybe give back to the children's hospital that helped me, uh, so I cycled around the world, which is in the book, yeah. um, and then and then I was sat on my mum and dad's toilet, and I had a visa for Canada to go on holiday, and then I jumped off and I was like, Mum, Dad, I think I'm going to run across Canada. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> and they said. What is it? Okay, Forrest. <laughs> yeah, Forrest, that's a really good yeah. idea. <laughs> it was a little bit like that, to it be sure honest. Was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So uh, the book... You're giving it away as well, so so to speak. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just so lucky now, Steve. Yeah. I I get paid to do motivational speaking all around the world. Uh, so this trip, in particular, this book tour, I'm doing it completely free. I'm using my own money, and I've put 100% of the royalties to charity. Uh, so 50% to Superhero Foundation, which is a charity I volunteer my time with helping sick kids. Right. Which, what did you create? Um, I found in Super Foundation, yeah. Yep. Um, and then also while I'm in Ontario, I'm putting the other 50% to sick kids. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm doing this book tour. I'm now in a car. I mean, it's so much easier to drive in a car. Yeah. Like, and then, I mean, you can drive in one hour. I'm like, it took me days to That's ride. Right. Yeah. Um, so now I'm and, and it has a heater in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really yeah, good it's idea. incredible, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Way better than being out running. Yeah. Um, so now I'm, I'm literally retracing the steps uh -huh. uh, of the run. Uh, so so I'm, I'm staying with people that took me in because I was completely oh, on my own on the run. Uh, and now people are setting up events along the way. And yeah. Okay. I mean, it's just... So we have, we have a huge following. We're right across the country, but mostly in Toronto. That's what we do. So if people wanted to have you speak at their functions, whatever the case may be, how would they get in touch with you? Um, so if they go to the website, uh, jamiemcdonald.org, yeah. um, or just Google Jamie McDonald, um, and you'll see a tab there that says book. Tour, yeah. and you literally just go in uh, email Victoria because he's awesome like, I'm so unplanned I can't plan a sausage sure. uh, so I've got someone organizing it and so we're just asking for businesses uh, schools anyone to get in touch um, and I'll go in uh, I'll get my superhero costume on and uh, and then and wrap it on really sure you make that yourself uh, do you know what? Well, I, I actually uh, wore the Flash outfit during the run across Canada. This is your own, yeah. Uh, but yeah. then this kid created uh, Adventure, Adventure Man okay. and, uh, and drew it. and We're out of time. Man, well, I, could, I, could ha I could have you here like, yeah. all day talking to you. You're very, very inspirational. A bit uh, of an idiot as well. Really. <laughs> the astonishingly true story, Adventure Man. Get the book and get him to speak at your function.